So here's the former UFC light heavyweight champion, the Czech Republic's Yuri Prohaska. Never know what haircut he's going to be bringing. I kind of miss the big, long lettuce. I don't know. Yeah, I love the ponytail. But Yuri Prohaska, for a long time, was considered one of those guys that could have an impact in the UFC. It took him a while to get here. But once he got here, it was all systems go, and he made a beeline towards becoming the light heavyweight champion. He has all the skills needed to be at the top of the sport, and tonight he steps in the octagon once again, trying to get his hand raised. Prohaska first became the champion June of 2022, then had a devastating shoulder injury, and a lot of fans worldwide wanting to see how he responds as he gets back on the proving ground tonight. martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pereira not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. title fight. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Yuri Ganisa. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed light heavyweight. Champion, Alex Politan Perea! The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. All right, so here we go with this stand-up only fight. You guys gotta play by the rules. No grappling or wrestling of any type. Also, you cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor. Let's see who the last man standing will be tonight. All right, doing work with the jab. Oh, Alex Pereira gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. Oh, no feeling out process tonight. These fighters are crawling early. Those guys came to fight from the moment the referee said go. Oh, a big left hand. That knee, that knee hurt him. Oh, big left. Oh, he lands a kick to the leg. Big power shot there. Oh, and 
So now he lands another combination. So it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times people throw singular strikes. Not this gentleman. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. Do not back up. Let's go. Good go. work, guys. Come on. He checked that last one. Straight right hand, no good. That was stuck in. Nice strike. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch lands in the perfect spot. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find his head. Huge shots landing on both sides. Oh, you got to start to look to finish him now. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Oh, nice hook. That landed. Nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Right. Five minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, 60 seconds between rounds. That gives us a chance to look at some of the replays from that previous round, including some of the damage sustained on his nose. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice shot that landed that opened up that cut on the nose. Granted, any cut is bad, but this one is in a spot where it shouldn't affect him too much. What we have to watch, though, John, is if the nose is broken. Right. Then it's hard for him to breathe. Yeah, get the blood in that nasal cavity, potentially trickles down the throat a little bit. I mean, fighting just sounds like a really fun <laughs> career. <laughs> Let's get to the next one. Nice defense there. Oh, a perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. But he's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the guard. Oh, that left thigh now really starting to swell. <laughs> Oh, big left hook there. Well, that strike landed cleanly. Just over three minutes now to go. What a good kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad. Oh! Well, not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. It feels like the finish is there for the taking. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Oh. And that
buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 22 seconds of round number two. Declare the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Yuri Denisa Kosheka. So Yuri Prohaska lighting up the masses and the arena as usual as he is your winner tonight by knockout. Massive knockout victory for Yuri Prohaska. The guy wins fights and he wins fights impressively. And tonight, once again, he knocks out another opponent.